Hello, um, today I'm going to read you a book that I wrote called The Friendship Bench and the words by me and the beautiful pictures are by Danny Lignaeus and um, yeah I wrote this story because I spotted some friendship benches in a school and they look like such a great idea so I wanted to write about one. I don't know if you've got a friendship bench at your school but maybe getting one would be a good idea where you can paint them up and make them look beautiful. Anyway, let's see what happens in this story. There we are, look there, we've got our little characters, Tilly and her dog Shadow. Tilly and Shadow had found a new home by the splash and the curl of the sea. When Tilly threw a ball, Shadow chased it and when Tilly did a cartwheel, Shadow barked. And when Tilly patted his head, Shadow always wagged his tail. Can Shadow come to my new school with me? asked Tilly. No, said Mummy. Dogs have to stay outside. Can I stay outside too? Mummy gave Tilly a cuddle. We'll be back soon, she said. But inside was not the same without Shadow. There's inside, look. Oh, there's the teacher. And outside, Tilly had to play all on her own. Why don't you try the friendship bench? asked the teacher. Children find new friends to play with there. But the friendship bench was right at the other side of the playground. And by the time that Tilly got there, there was already somebody on it. Look, you can see his little head. Did you try the friendship bench? asked the teacher. I couldn't, said Tilly. It was too busy. The teacher smiled. Go and try again. So Tilly tried again, but the little boy was still there. The little boy looked at the sky. Tilly looked at her shoes. The little boy looked at a seagull. Tilly looked at the grass. It isn't working, said Tilly. Maybe it's broken, said the little boy. I've been sitting on it for ages. Broken? Then we should try and fix it with sticks and leaves and, and very, very special magic sand. The little boy beamed. I'm Flint, he said, and he ran to gather some sticks. I'm Tilly, grinned Tilly. Let's fix all the broken bits. There they are, look. It's working, beamed Tilly. Yes, giggled Flint. The friendship bench is getting better. There they are, look, throwing sand and leaves and grass on it and shells. After school, Mummy and Tilly walked home along the beach. The seagulls swung in the air. Did you have a good day? asked Mummy. Yes, but the friendship bench was all broken, so we had to make it better, said Tilly. What's a friendship bench? asked Mum. It's a special bench that helps you make new friends. I've been trying to fix it with flint. Look at that lovely picture where they're looking in the reflection and it's all upside down. Who's Flint? asked Mummy. Oh, just a little boy, said Tilly. He's got a really hairy dog called Herbert and he likes ice cream and beaches and he really wants to meet Shadow. Flint sounds like a lovely new friend, said smiled Mummy. You two must have fixed the friendship bench ever so well. Oh yes, giggled Tilly. I think we really have. There they are, look. And there are Tilly and Flint's dogs having made friends and all the children gone down onto the beach to play. Anyway, 
Do you see what I mean? I think it might be quite a nice idea for you to try and make a friendship bench at your school. I mean, it wouldn't have to be fancy. It could just be any old bench that you kind of, you'd have to ask your teachers first, but maybe you could put some sort of pretty ch shells on it or decorate them and even be allowed to stick them on. Or maybe paint a bench, you know, you'd have to see what you're allowed to do at your school. But they're a lovely way of making sure that everyone has someone to play with. Okay, well, thank you for listening. Bye.